Often tutors will want to set a project for a student and then get that student to keep an ongoing log of what they've done in that project. It's a very common thing to do, basically keeping a journal of what you do. Um, and it's a really nice way of assessing students ongoing learning. And Blackboard has this option in here. In my content area, I'm going to say Add Interactive Tool and select Journal. I can now create a new journal. So here we have Create New Journal. Press this button. And I'm going to name this journal your journal. I can now write the instructions and these instructions are what's going to appear once the student actually enters the journal. That's important, it's, you'll understand this in a moment but let me just show you. So keep an ongoing diary of your work and make sure you don't leave it till I will know. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to make this journal available. I could have it hidden, but I want it to be available. I could also limit the availability between certain dates. Now I have this index option. I can index monthly or weekly. If you're doing a short project, then weekly is probably a good idea. I also have allow users to edit and delete entries. If you want to make it so that users can only enter it once, then leave this unchecked. However, if you want them to be able to go back over their work and change it and keep updating it, then tick this box. I'm going to leave it so that they can't edit. Allow users to delete comments. Again, this is something you can think about because comments will be available in this journal. We'll look at those as well. And permit users to view the journal. Permit course users to view the journal. If you select this, it means that other users in the course can see the journals. I'm going to say that it's actually just between me and the student by leaving this unchecked. You also have the option to grade the journal. So I'm going to say that there's 100 points available for this journal. You also can say that there's no grading. It's up to you. So I'm going to submit. Now I've got my jur your journal selected, not my journal, <laughs> your journal, and I'm going to select next. Now I have to write some different things. Now remember I said that the last text box was what the students would see once they went into the journal. This is what the students are going to see in the content area. So I could say change the name of this to um, journal for your lesson. And here I can say please click the link above to start your journal. I then have the same options as any other content item that I would create. So I will track the number of views even though it's almost irrelevant with a journal. Press submit and here we have it. I'm going to switch edit mode off so that I see what the students will see. And here we have a nice icon, looks a bit like a journal, and it says please click the link above to start your journal. So I'll click this link, and now it says keep an ongoing diary of your work and make sure you don't leave it until the end. I will know. Well, how will I know? Let me create my own journal entry. Day one. This was a bad day. And I'll post the entry. As you can see, it says who posted it, and it timestamps it as well. This is great for knowing if your students are actually doing the work on the day that they're supposed to. I, as a tutor, I could come in here and I could read this journal and see that this student was having a bad day that day. I now have the option to click the comment box and write a comment to that student. What is wrong? Are you, oh, whoops, let's put a question mark. Are you okay? and I'll add this comment. The comment doesn't show unless you click this to show comments or hide comments. So I can see my comment. The nice thing is that the student can now come in and actually comment back and say it's okay just don't get it 
yet. And then you can answer again, and so on. When the student creates a new journal entry, and they post it, this appears above. And again, it's time date stamped. So you can see that this is a really useful tool for keeping track of students' ongoing work. And I would recommend using a journal over a blog for this particular job. The other thing to note about journals is that you can see all the journals for your student here in the more journals in this journal section. You can show the empty journals as well. So here are all my other students on this course who haven't actually done anything in their journal. It shows the number of posts um, that they have and you can actually flick between the different journals by clicking on the student's name. When you get to a journal that actually has um, some entries in it, you get this indexing here. And remember we said to index weekly, so we have a single week of index there. If you index month, this means that any journals, any entries written between that week will be linked so I can hide and expand them. 